very talented coach and has won everywhere he's been. Flanagan oh. drops a hammer! Oh, and Owner drives it deep to left field. Gone in a hurry. Roz Gold on Wood and Mary Murphy, Ashley Adamson with you, and the card is headed back to the national championship game for the first time since 2010. Here's a service ball. Here's the rip and a goal by Kojima! Rona with 120, Kojima with a game winner! Strike, Geeg delivers. And this punts to the right side, and it eludes the dive, and the Hokies are going to walk off the Eagles. And welcome to the 2021 SVG College Sports Media Awards presented in association with NACTA. I'm Brandon Costa from Sports Video Group. It is an honor to be with you again this evening for the 13th edition of this prestigious competition celebrating the very best in college sports video production. Uh, despite all of the challenges that you faced this year between postponements, cancellations, COVID guidelines, protocols, the whole gamut, this year's competition saw the most entries we've ever received in the history of this event, and the quality was just absolutely incredible. Kudos to everyone involved in tonight's competition, finalists, winner or not, the entries were just staggering. Look, a year ago, we didn't think we'd be needing to host this event virtually again this year for the second year in a row, but here we are. We'll get back together in person again very soon, but for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy celebrating the very best of the year of sports video in the college sports landscape, and maybe you'll have a CSMA trophy heading your way. Let's set the stage for you this evening. There are four divisions split up across five categories, bringing us a total of 20 awards that will be handed out this evening. The categories are out Outstanding Program Series, Outstanding Non-Live Game Production, Outstanding Short Form Fan Engagement, Outstanding Special Feature, and Outstanding Live Game Production. The four divisions are Professional, Collegiate Conferences, Governing Bodies, Collegiate Athletics, and Collegiate Student. And this year's event, of course, would not be possible with our wonderful title sponsor of the SVG College Summit and tonight's College Sports Media Awards. That is Ross Video. Here to offer a few welcoming remarks from Ross Video is Chris Farrow. 
Thanks, Brandon. I've been fortunate to be in the college sports production and operation industry for over three decades. And it's amazing to see the incredible work at such a high level being originated from the hundreds of college campuses across the country, from live remote productions, features, social media, and much more. On behalf of Ross Video, I would like to congratulate all the nominees at the 2021 SVG College Sports Media Awards in association with NACTA. I once heard you have to be great to get nominated and sometimes a little lucky to win. To all the graduating seniors, congratulations on your accomplishments and I hope you continue to follow your dreams in our industry. I miss connecting with all of you and look forward to 2022 when we can network again in person. Brandon, back to you. Thank you so much, Chris, and to everyone at Ross Video for continued support throughout the years of the SVG College Summit and tonight's College Sports Media Awards ceremony. All right, let's get to it. It's time to start tonight's festivities. This evening, we have the pleasure to be joined by a very special master of ceremonies to take you through. She is the lead college football reporter for Fox Sports the sideline reporter on Fox's big noon kickoff game of the week, where she appears on one of the biggest college football games Saturday in and Saturday out with Gus Johnson and another college sports media awards host, Joel Klatt coming to you from the Fox studio lot in Los Angeles. Please welcome this year's MC Jenny Taft. Jenny, wonderful to see you. Thank you so much, Brandon. It is a pleasure to be here with you tonight as the Master of Ceremonies for the SVG College Sports Media Awards presented in association with NACTA. This marks the 13th edition of these awards and they have only grown in prestige. Thanks to you, the wonderful content creators from athletic departments, conference offices, and professional networks from across the country. This was an exceptionally challenging year for all of us. Football in the fall in front of mostly empty stadiums, a crossover season earlier this year that had an incredible amount of sports overlapping all at once, and you navigated all of that under varying forms of COVID-related safety guidelines, and yet the content and the live productions were as spectacular as ever. I know for us and our college football crew at Fox Sports, it really was a challenging yet rewarding year. And from day one, we were just so thankful to have a season at all to cover. Unfortunately, we did have a couple games canceled on location, which is never fun, but hopefully we don't have to deal with that ever again. And some of my favorite memories this season were actually hanging out in the meeting rooms. Uh, we call ourselves the McDo crew around here, and our crew has always really been a big family and we became closer this year for so many reasons. I'm so thankful to work with Gus Johnson, Joel Klatt, Chuck McDonald, Rich Dewey, and every other person who makes us look and sound so good on TV. We really are a special and tight-knit family. And I was reminded this season just how lucky we all are to cover sports, and even more lucky to do it with people that we love. Well, now it's time to sit back and celebrate. That's why we're here, right? Let's hand out some awards. We have five categories to roll through tonight, so let's begin with Outstanding Program Series. The nominees in the professional division are... Big Ten Network, On the Mat. Big Ten Network, The Big Moment. Big Ten Network, The Journey. Big Ten Basketball 2021. Big Ten Network, The Journey. Big Ten Football 2020. Turner Sports. NCAA.com March Madness Features. And the winner is the Big Ten Network, the big moment. We knew they had fouls to give, so we figured out that it might be a quick foul coming out. Two-point lead, no timeouts for Indiana. The play was supposed to be a pick by half court. We actually must have played up. <laughs> Here comes Riddell Jones. Marcus Teague was trying to grab my arm, but I try to, you know, maneuver out of it a little bit. And then I'm just thinking, okay, now what? I'm like, oh, we, you heard it was free. So then I start sprinting. Three seconds, two seconds. The one person I didn't see was Christian. I didn't know if he was sprinting down. I didn't know if it was the old Christian where he was just kind of jogging and chilling. And I'm like, sprinting behind him. V, V. Everything seemed to block out besides Christian yelling my name. Riddell all the way outside to Watford. He hit me perfect timing. Like my feet stopped like right at the three-point line, right into it. I just let it go. 
Watford for the win! Yes! Yes! Oh! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! It was going in slow motion, everything silent, everything silent. And then once I let it go, and once it hit the net, it just erupted. Next up, let's hand out our first student award of the evening in the Outstanding Program Series Collegiate Student Division. The nominees are... Anderson University, Raven Watch. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link. Sports Link Game Day Live. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link. Transatlantic Storytelling. St. Cloud State University, Husky Mag 2021. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions. Texas A&M Basketball, run it back. And the winner is Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, Transatlantic Storytelling. I think it's the freedom and the fact that it's something that you put all your energy into. At the end of the day, it's you who kind of gets up, goes for a run and comes back. You get out of running what you put into it and I really, really like that. My parents split when I was 10. And my kind of nice little perfect life wasn't so perfect anymore. And at the time, I think just all those different changes really kind of took its toll on me and it was almost like I didn't know which way to turn or what to do and I kind of thought that I kind of lost a lot of control. And I think it wasn't until I kind of moved to secondary school that I kind of turned to something that I felt could give me control and at the time that was controlling what I ate, controlling how much exercise I did and what my weight was and those were like three things at the time that no one else could kind of dictate and it was almost like an opportunity for me to be competitive with myself. Amazing job by those students, congratulations and now it's outstanding program series in the collegiate conferences and governing bodies division and the nominees are Big East Conference Big East Fast Break, The Outlet. Big East Conference. Big East Shoot Around. Pac-12 Networks, Our Stories. West Coast Conference, WCC Network. WCC All Access, Season 4. And the winner is Pac-12 Networks, Our Stories. She has a way of making the most out of any situation that is presented to her. And it was the perfect way for Tara to show her kids, see, we could still have a really fun time. This is still going to be really special. Let's have a great game, Camp. Here we go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together. Let's get the tip. And a nomadic start to the season. And now, primed to be a part of an historic night for their head coach. Good job, Key. Let's work. Let's work. It was a great game because everyone kind of was able to come in and, and make a contribution. Here you go, let's go Black! Here you go Black! For us as a team, minus the coaches, it was like, okay, like we're, we're doing this for Tara today. Come on, come on Fran! Go hard! Good job Fran! Here you go Black! And the number one team in the country will improve to 5-0. Tonight, Tara stands on top. Passing Pat Summit, win number 1,099. I really hope Pat Summit is looking down and saying, you know, good job, Tara, keep it going. Spectacular work there. Congratulations again. Let's wrap up the Outstanding Program Series category with the Collegiate Athletics Division. The nominees are... Duke University Men's Basketball. Duke Blue Planet, Northwestern University, The Foundation, Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions, The Pulse, Texas A&M Football, University of Alabama, Max Effort, Season 2, University of Kentucky, For the Team, 
University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Icon, Notre Dame Football, University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Irishography, University of Oklahoma, OU Football Scene Setters. And the winner is Duke University Men's Basketball, Duke Blue Planet. This is not a moment, this is a movement. If, if, if the squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Yeah. Hey. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Same squad. Same squad. Same squad. Drop top coupe, dodge rain drops. Big back plays on Facetime. Squad ain't with me, then it ain't right. Obviously things are different and there's different guidelines that we have to follow to keep everyone safe But just being able to be back around um, See Nolan see these faces again that I haven't seen in five months and uh, meet the teammates and then hopefully get back to work pretty soon it's, it's really exciting. We can't be distracted by our work when there's real work to be done Real work. It's bigger than basketball. It's bigger than football. It's bigger than soccer. It's bigger than tennis It's bigger than field hockey it's bigger than all the What an amazing day for all the student athletes at Duke to get together and talk about systemic racism and the action that needs to be taken to rid our country of it and social injustice. This country has had its knee on the neck of African Americans for too long. This country has put a dagger in our backs. And he's yet to even acknowledge the dagger, let alone trying to pull it out. Just a fantastic way to kick off tonight's ceremony. Again, congratulations to all of the winners in the Outstanding Program Series Division. All right, let's shift our focus now to live production. This is Outstanding Live non-game production. It's exactly like it sounds, a live broadcast that isn't a game that can be a pregame show, a coaches show, national signing day, an on-site studio show. Live producers are always looking for new ways outside of the game to bring their fans and alumni closer to their programs, even when the athletes may not be on the playing field. So let's begin with the outstanding live non-game production with the award in the professional division. The nominees are Big Ten Network. Urban Analysis with Urban Meyer and Jerry DiNardo. ESPN, College Game Day. Next Star Media Group, West Virginia University. Mountaineer Game Day, number 17 Oklahoma State at number six West Virginia. Next Star Media Group, West Virginia University. Mountaineer Game Day, 2021 NCAA Tournament. And the winner is ESPN, College Game Day. We start with our Coors Light Saturday selections, and we'll start with a game in the SEC that Chris Felica the Bear put on the board earlier. Team from, from your home state, Condi, Auburn taking on Mississippi State. Who do you like in that one? Well, I like Auburn. Um, I don't think that uh, Mike Leach's uh, air raid offense has quite taken in the SEC. Um, I hope that K.J. Costello, who, by the way, was my advisee when he was at Stanford, I hope he gets another shot. But um, I also have a lot of family that went to Auburn. Auburn it is. Ah, uh, now I'm going to have to go against that pick. Nice Christmas tree, by the way. But I got to go with <laughs> Mississippi you. State. I think, listen, Auburn, they, 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 got, they got the ran. They, 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 the Aggies ran the ball on them all game last week. And now Mississippi State, they're going to throw on their defense. I'm going Mississippi State. Kurt. Uh, I, I don't know if you can hear me or not. Can, can you boys hear me? We got you. We got you. We got you. <laughs> okay, okay. Just a, just a routine pick segment while I'm on a helicopter flying over the Hudson River. Um, I'm, well, I'm going to go with <laughs> Auburn. Um, I know that Bear believes that, uh, that that Auburn shut it down for the year after their last two weeks. But, uh, I'm, David, I'm going to go with Auburn to, to just, just have enough to beat Mississippi State. I got Auburn, too. I hope they do one of those G-Force things where they throw him up there and he can pass out again. <laughs> I'd love to see that, Coach. But I got Auburn, Coach. I think I think they're going to finish their season really strong. Auburn plays pass defense well and wins a close one. Auburn. 
By the way, traffic and weather together on the H with Kirk Herbstreit flying <laughs> high above all of the highways. Next, outstanding live non-game production in the collegiate student division. The nominees are... Monmouth University, Big South Football Championship, Monmouth versus Kennesaw State Open, Monmouth University, Monmouth versus Stanford Field Hockey Open, St. Cloud State University, St. Cloud State versus Minnesota Duluth Men's Ice Hockey Pregame, St. Cloud State University, St. Cloud State versus Minnesota Duluth Men's Ice Hockey Postgame, University of Oklahoma, OU Boomer Beat. And the winner is St. Cloud State University, St. Cloud State versus Minnesota Duluth men's ice hockey pregame. Let's take a look at the keys to today's game presented by St. Cloud Subaru, the safest cars on ice. And what you laid out is basically what Scott Sandlin is telling his team. Well, it's time to turn it up. Well, what time of the year is it? It's playoff time. It's UMD time. And this is when they get dialed in get their focus, everybody on the same page, and when they do, they are awfully tough to beat, and Scott Sandlin is looking for that to start today. And one of his key guys to go to, Nick Sweeney. He's had another great season. Well, leads the team at 27 points, Minnesota Wild draft pick. Uh, you know, he's one of the best players in the country, great speed, great leader. For, you know, as, as being a senior, you know, he wants to close out his career on a good note. And, uh, you know, St. Cloud's going to have to be wary of him today. All right. For the Huskies, it's a pack mentality, you say. Yeah, it really is. When this team is going, they've got all four lines going. They get good goaltending. They get good defensemen. There's not one or two people that are going to lead this team. It's everybody. And so they need everybody click in today if they want to get the win. And one of those guys that uh, Brett Larson will be looking to, and he's asking more of, is Sam Henches. Moved from center to the wing, and it seemed to have helped his game Well, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really going to help him because, as you said, he's got great speed. You know, you, you watch him play and you say, where is it? Where is it? And, you know, he's one of those guys that has the ability to do it, and let's hope it uh, comes out today. Yeah, it should be a very interesting contest. The sixth time these two teams have met this season. So there's no surprises on either side. Well, no surprises because, hey, Brett and Scott coach together. <laughs> they know uh, what they like to do. It's a, it's a really fun battle between those two guys, and uh, it's going to be a great game. Students are accomplishing incredible things these days. What a talented group. Congratulations to everyone, and I really look forward to seeing what you guys all do next rolling on in the outstanding live non-game production division let's check out the collegiate conferences and governing bodies division the nominees are big east conference big east shoot around live at the big east championship mountain west conference mountain west men's basketball championship net cutting show pac-12 networks pac-12 women's basketball final four post game show and the winner is Pac-12 Networks, Pac-12 Women's Basketball Final Four postgame show. Stanford Cardinal, Roz Gold on Wood and Mary Murphy, Ashley Adamson with you, and the card is headed back to the national championship game for the first time since 2010 when you were rocking that Cardinal jersey. You said, I just wanted a nice, tidy win by the Stanford <laughs> team. That's not exactly what you got, Roz. No, and I'm, I feel so many things right now. First and foremost, I feel so happy and excited for the Stanford team. That was a nails-tough win. That was a tough win win gritty team every single person clawed and contributed to get that win and it came down to some incredible moments stuff of lore i also watched Aaliyah boston of south carolina cry right off the court and i understood the pain thank goodness she's a sophomore she'll be back you know they'll get back there and um that pain will fuel you but god it, you saw the beauty and the pain of this sport and this time in final four I'm just so proud of Stanford for being the, the, the gritty team who got it. But I have to say, I feel like Stanford's been in that position so many times with so many great teams. And we wrap things up in the outstanding live non-game production with the Collegiate Athletics Division. The nominees are... Liberty University. 
Liberty Flames countdown to kickoff. Syracuse University. Cues.com live studio show. University of Alabama. Bryant Denny Stadium studio update. University of Oklahoma. OU Sooner Sports Talk. Butkus Brian Teaser. University of Wyoming. Colorado State at Wyoming open segment. And the winner is University of Wyoming, Colorado State at Wyoming open segment. Wyoming Cowboys basketball on the Mountain West Network is presented by Cheyenne Kubota. Inside the Arena Auditorium tonight, we've got a great rivalry matchup for you. It's the border war between the Colorado State Rams and the Wyoming Cowboys. Let's take a look at the standings. Boise State sitting pretty at number one. CSU not far behind at three, and Wyoming is sitting in the seventh spot. What's going on, everybody? Jacob Toby alongside former Cowboy Steve Gosar. Hey, I believe you've played in a couple of these matchups. One of the best games around. Oh, this is going to be fun tonight because no matter what the records are, what the stats, throw them out the window. As soon as that ball goes up, these two teams are going to go at each other. Isaiah Stevens will be going at the Cowboys tonight. One of the best guards in the country for CSU. Oh, Isaiah Stevens is so fun to watch. He is an elite passer. And when I mean elite passer, this guy can really thread the needle. But at the same time, he shoots with a lot of confidence from the arc and is knocking down a high clip of threes. It's time to move on to a very exciting category in the CSMAs that was brand new just last year. Outstanding short form fan engagement. This category celebrates the best in videos like pregame stadium hype videos and content designed especially for social media. And in a year where we were reminded how important the game day experience really is. And at a time where student athletes are becoming more empowered than ever, this is a category where some of the most creative and innovative work in the industry is being done. The entire list of finalists is loaded with incredible, incredible work. So let's begin. Outstanding short form fan engagement in the professional division. The nominees are. Big 10 Network, The Wait, ESPN, College Game Day, Bracketology, ESPN, College Game Day, Coach Corso's House, Turner Sports, 2021 March Madness Open, Made for Madness, Turner Sports, Made for Madness, NCAA March Madness live at Proma. And the winner is Turner Sports 2021 March Madness Open Made for Madness. The madness is back. Welcome to March. March Madness is underway. The road to the final four starts here. This is going to be a wild ride. Unlike anything else in sports, stages. Next up, the collegiate student division for outstanding short form fan engagement. The nominees are Ball State University Ball State Sports Link, 2020 Ball State Football Intro, Ball State University Ball State Sports Link, 2021 Ball State Gymnastics Intro, Ball State University Ball State Sports Link, Ball State Sports Link, new logo reveal. Mercer University, the impact of MLK. University of Kentucky, Kentucky men's basketball intro video. University of Portland, Portland Pilots National Woman in Sports Day. St. Cloud State University, NCAA championship hype. St. Cloud State University, SCSU period hype. St. Cloud State University, we will be back. And the winner is St. Cloud State University, SCSU period hype. Yeah! 
Such a cool piece. Congratulations on the much deserved honor there. Continuing in the outstanding short form fan engagement category, we celebrate collegiate conferences and governing bodies. The nominees are Big 12 Conference, LDWW, You See Me Differently, Big 12 Unity, Chick fil A Peach Bowl, 2021 Chick fil A Peach Bowl Hype Video, Mid American Conference, Mid American Conference PSA. High five. Mid-American Conference. Mid-American Conference PSA. Thank you, first responders. Pac-12 Networks. We'll be back. Patriot League. Patriot League on ESPN announcement video. And the winner is Pac-12 Networks. We'll be back. Congrats, what a great piece of work. Well done. And we conclude the outstanding short form fan engagement category with the CSMA in the Collegiate Athletics Division. So the nominees are... Northeastern University, Men's Hockey in Arena Intro Video, Northwestern University, Indefinable, Virginia Tech Hokie Vision, 2020-21 Virginia Tech Women's Basketball Intro Video, Virginia Tech Hokie Vision. What's a Hokie? I am. University of Alabama. Unity by Alabama Football. University of Iowa. Iowa Hawkeyes Women's Gymnastics Enough Campaign. University of Iowa. Iowa Gym Hawks Intro Video 2021. University of Kentucky. Back to work. University of Louisville. Louisville Fall Sports are back. University of Louisville. Louisville Football Halloween University of Louisville Louisville Football Signing Day University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media Notre Dame Football Hype Campaign University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media Notre Dame Football Senior Day Hype University of Oklahoma Bedlam Football Promos University of Wisconsin We Are Badgers and the winner is University of Wisconsin, We Are Badgers. When you meet someone for the first time, how do you describe yourself? You tell them your name, you tell them where you're from. How do you tell them who you are, what you're made of? You tell them you're a badger. You tell them where home is. You tell them about our family. You tell them it's not just about a school, or a city, or a team. Being a Badger is so much more than that. We believe success comes from hard work. We don't do shortcuts. We sweat, we have grit, we push, we help each other, and we always do it together. 
We live for the moments when the whole world is watching and we get to play. We're tough, we're fast, and we never, ever quit. We battle and we win championships. We love to get together, and when we do, it usually gets a little loud, a little rowdy, but damn, is it fun. We cheer, we sing, we jump around, we play five quarters. We have early mornings and we have some late nights. And then we wake up and we do it all over again. We know it's a challenge to get here and we know it's an accomplishment to succeed here. We dream, we discover, we grow, we give back and we achieve. We create our own future and we go pro in everything. We may leave this awesome place, but this place, it never leaves us. We inspire, we become legends, we go all pro in whatever we do. We run boardrooms and we change the world. So the next time you meet someone new, tell them you're a Wisconsin Badger and be damn proud of them. Well, you really can see the elite level of competition in those winners. Congrats. And obviously, we weren't able to show you all the finalists tonight in their entirety, but they are certainly worth watching. I promise you that. The good news is you can go back and watch all of the finalists' entry videos from tonight's competition in the coming days over at College Sports Media Awards. Com. Sports Video Group has compiled years of finalists and winners from the past years. So if you're looking for some inspiration this summer as we prepare for the next academic year, there's hours and hours of award-winning content there for you to check out and uh, draw some inspiration. Again, visit collegesportsmediawards.com to watch all the finalist video from this year and past years of the SVG College Sports Media Awards. Two categories left to go in this year's CSMAs, and they are big ones. Let's next go to the Outstanding Special Feature Division. This award means a lot to so many in the SVG college community. When we talk about the important art of storytelling in the business, it doesn't get much greater than a fantastically produced feature piece. And I have to say, some of my favorite moments are feature pieces. When you're on the road, you get to sit down with athletes or coaches and really get to know them with the time. Let's start with the professional division where the competition here is absolutely elite. The nominees are ACC Network, Darcy Bourne, the face of a movement, Big Ten Network, Aaron Henry, ESPN, College Game Day, Are You Gonna Run, Najee, ESPN, College Game Day, Blood Brothers, ESPN, Jack Trice, I Will, ESPN, Quiddy Pay, A Long Way Home. ESPN, USC versus Alabama, 50th anniversary. ESPN, SEC Network, Play Like a Girl. University of North Texas, Slow Feet Don't Eat. And the winner is ESPN, College Game Day, Blood Brothers. The story is about survival. It's about coming together just thinking about it there's a tension right now in, in my chest and my stomach there was still that gravity god i hope this works because if it doesn't i'm going to lose my brother eric shaw is david's little brother they were best friends growing up and never grew apart but in 2011 the same year David got his dream job at Stanford, Eric's life turned into a nightmare. I would have itching attacks where I ended up actually tearing my skin. I would still scratch at night and wake up with bloody arms and legs and skin. It would literally look like someone had pushed marbles under his skin. There were just tumors everywhere. I don't think we were expecting to hear how bad it was. In 2013, Eric was diagnosed with mycosis fungoides, a rare form of lymphoma. He underwent radiation and chemotherapy to get the cancer under control. It was extremely difficult, just mentally getting up and looking at myself in the mirror. I didn't recognize myself. By 2018, 
doctors gave Eric a 50% chance at living just two more years, unless they could find a match for a bone marrow transplant. Whatever I have to do, whatever you have to take out of me, whatever, you, however you have to do it, just do it. And for them to come back and say that you're not a strong enough match, it hurt me. Every finalist in that division was absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible work. I just don't know how you pick a winner. Congrats again. Now we roll on to the CSMA for outstanding special feature in the collegiate student division. The nominees are... Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, The Sam Gordon Story. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, The Sterling McIlrevy Story. Ball State University, Ball State Sports Link, The Will to Continue, The Will Godwin Story. Ryerson University, Journey Beyond the Noise, From Injury to Resilience. Temple University, Owl Sports Update Productions, Remembering the Late John Cheney. University of Kentucky, Don't Call It a Comeback. University of Central Florida, NALA, the definition of perseverance. University of Central Florida, UCF Rowing, charging on. And the winner is University of Kentucky. Don't call it a comeback. Deep, and it's a one-run game. Hit to right, and it's gone! Riley Smith ties it up as Kentucky goes back to back. Unbelievable! And we're going to extra innings. And they got her on strikes. Back to back K's, and Hughes works around. The error. Now the free passes to Stoddard and Abernathy. They load the bases with one out. Winning run at third. Brings up Smith, who was on the back half of the back-to-back -back homers and inning a goal. Chop left side. Got to come home. Oh, shake! And Kentucky wins! A tag was not needed, and the call favors Kentucky, and they win it by four. To winning a huge SEC series. Yes. yes. Cheers to busting out these sick Marcy <laughs> Cheers to fighting like Wildcats and winning it. Yeah. That's a three. One, two, three, yes. A beautifully told story. Congratulations again. And next up in the outstanding special feature, it's the Collegiate Conferences and Governing Bodies Division. The nominees are... Big East Conference, Big East Tournament Opening Essay, Big Sky Conference, Mother's Day Feature, Pauline and Zoe Thyros, Pac-12 Networks, Dear Football, The Path Back, Patriot League, Rick Mottram is engineering a bright future after Bucknell, West Coast Conference, WCC Network, The Incredible Journey of BYU's Gideon George. And the winner is Big East Conference, Big East Tournament, opening essay. Tradition. In the dictionary, it means a customary pattern of thought, action, or behavior. In the second week of March, in Manhattan, there is one tradition that has stood for nearly four decades. It draws fans from all over, from Queens to Cincinnati, from Providence to Omaha. This is the Big East Tournament at Madison Square Garden, and it is not for the faint of heart. From noon to midnight, and sometimes beyond, inside the world's most famous arena, it has provided the madness before the madness, the coaches, the players, the seniors, and all of you, the fans. The fans and those well-known garden drawers make the walls talk inside MSG. It's just tradition. And that tradition, like everything else in the past year, will look very different this time around. A sold-out house will be missed, 
But like we are beginning to see in our world, there is still reason to hope. And this show is too great to not proceed. Those on the front lines. The program behind the program. Last up, an outstanding special feature. It's Collegiate Athletics. The nominees are... Colorado State University Ram Vision. Border War Stoke Reel. Colorado State University Ram Vision. Colorado State Football to the Toughest Among Us. Duke University. Blue Devil Network. Lady in Blue. Duke University Men's Basketball. The Jones Family. Michigan State University Spartan Vision. Spartans All Access, Michigan State's Women's Golf, Eureka Tanita, Princeton University, Princeton Athletics Class of 2021, Ryerson University, The Ebony Connection, Stanford University, Stanford Football, No Distractions, No Excuses, University of Alabama, 50 Years, University of Central Florida, This Place, University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Class of 2020 Student Athlete Virtual Farewell. University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Fighting Irish Mentality. University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Notre Dame Football, A Season in Review. University of Notre Dame Fighting Irish Digital Media, Notre Dame Women's Basketball, Shoes for Change. University of Oklahoma, Sooner Sports TV, Living Out a Dream. University of Oklahoma, Sooner Sports TV, Vinnie Welch, A Story of Loss and Courage. Western Kentucky University, The Long Road Back, Charles Basie. And the winner is University of Oklahoma, Sooner Sports TV, Vinnie Welch, A Story of Loss and Courage. Vinnie Welch was only three years old when his dad, Marty, put a plastic golf club in his hands. Marty, a former college baseball player, didn't start playing golf himself until he was in his 20s. A fan of the game, he wanted his eldest son to love the greens, just as he did. He just got me the plastic clubs, you know, just let me do whatever I want. And uh, I was about four or five, I think he got me like a nine iron. I just started chipping with that. And then as I got older, he got me like clubs that were like harder to hit. Like I, I think I started hitting a driver when I was like eight. Like before that, I would hit like a hybrid or a three wood. We played in a few father-son tournaments back in California when I was about like seven, eight, nine. We did it for a few years and I, he had some game though. He hit it pretty well. It looked different. He'd like waggle the club and then he would just hit it like dead straight. He hit it pretty well. I think he was like a four or five handicap at one point. He always used to tell me this. Um, whenever I started like playing like courses, then he just like completely stopped. He just said he had more fun watching me. Welch stands out on the links not just as an elite ball striker, but because of his unique swing. He's cross-handed throughout the entire bag. Holding the club though, you know, it throws everybody off. When I first recruited him, it, it threw me off too. But then you start watching his golf swing and he might have uh, one of the most athletic golf swings that we have out here in college golf. But if you watch all the way up at the top of Patrick's golf swing, he gets across the line, super high left arm, kind of like what uh, Bub Watson almost looks like up at the top. And then right there at the, at, at the transition, you see him squat down through there, which is what everybody's teaching right now. All these big time instructors, they're teaching the old squat, uh, being super athletic. It allows the, the, the club to be able to shallow out, which he does really, really well. I don't know if you can replicate this. Uh, super athletic, very good hand-eye coordination and he's been doing it his whole life and, and he's figured out how to play good golf doing it. The Art in This Year's special feature division is greater than we've ever seen in this highly contested category. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners so far. And now it's time for our final category of the evening, Outstanding Live Game Production. This is what it's all about. The action on the field and why I love being a sideline reporter so much. The amount of effort that goes into producing a live game is enormous. And our finalists tonight are accustomed to producing hundreds per year. It takes a special crew to broadcast a live sporting event. And I mentioned it off the very top of the show. That's why this is so special. It really is a family. It's yes, Jenny in front of the camera on the sideline, Gus and Joel in the booth, but my audio guy, Trey, making sure I'm actually being broadcast to everyone. There's such a team involved. That's why this is such a special job because without everyone who travels with us, 
none of this would be possible. It's top to bottom, a team effort, and that's why we all do it. So let's begin with the outstanding live game production category with the CSMA in the professional division, and the nominees are... Big Ten Network, Cross Country, Big Ten Men's Cross Country Championship, Big Ten Network, Men's Basketball, Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament, Maryland versus Michigan, Big Ten Network, Wrestling, Big Ten Wrestling Championships. And the winner is Big Ten Network Wrestling, Big Ten Wrestling Championships. They're going to add Matt Tu, upper left, 184 pounds. That's Jaden Bullock from Michigan and John Posnanski. True freshman for Rutgers, they like him. He's ranked 12th in the country out of Colonia, New Jersey. A state champion, the first at Colonia in 43 years. And he's leading it three to one, second period. And a nice low shot there, but Bullock has done a nice job of cutting the corner on him. He's got both legs locked up. If he can go ahead and get a little bit of elevation with his head and drive him over. But the guy who kept his head up in that situation was Lesnanski. Gets a little bit better position to scramble and see if he comes high leg over with that right leg to break the grip. Nope, gets a stalemate. Good action. Yeah, two young guys that we've seen a lot of good things from. Bullock as well. Yeah, like Posnanski, he's a true freshman. Final seconds and a major decision with the riding time 16-5 for Massa of Michigan. And the Wolverine now 6-1. And, and he will meet, as you mentioned, Tim, DJ Washington of Indiana in a 174-pound quarterfinal. That'll be a good showdown. Yeah, back on Posnanski. He's in a limp arm situation against Bullock. A nice job with that shot. He had a nice little duck under technique to get to the uh, head to the outside. They're actually single leg. He moved from the head to the outside to the inside. A nice finish on Bullock and now in command of this match. Kratiger, 10 seconds away from victory. Yeah, Kratiger doing a nice job of continuing to move his feet there. Was able to uh, down block really well on that last shot by Aller and going to get a good win. What a big event that was. Congratulations on some masterful work bringing it to the masses. And next up, we move to the collegiate student division. It's amazing the opportunities that are available to students today to work on live games while in school. I actually have so many great memories from doing that myself at Boston University. And the amount of experience you're entering the workforce with it's unparalleled. So let's look at some of the best game productions from the past year. The nominees are... Belmont University, men's basketball. Belmont versus University of Tennessee at Martin. Big Ten Network, Student U. Baseball, Penn State versus Indiana. Elon University, women's basketball. Elon versus Delaware. Mercer University, baseball. Mercer versus Kennesaw State. Mercer University, men's basketball. Mercer versus University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Monmouth University, men's basketball. Monmouth versus Quinnipiac. St. Cloud State University, men's ice hockey. St. Cloud State versus Colorado College. Texas A&M University, 12th Band Productions. Baseball, Texas A&M versus Georgia. Texas State University, men's basketball. Texas State versus Little Rock. Texas State University, baseball. Texas State versus Louisiana Monroe. University of Alabama, softball. Alabama versus North Carolina. Virginia Tech, Hokie Vision, baseball. Virginia Tech versus Boston College. Virginia Tech, Hokie Vision, baseball. Virginia Tech versus Virginia Military Institute. Virginia Tech, Hokie Vision, men's basketball. Virginia Tech versus Virginia. And the winner is Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions, baseball, Texas A&M versus Georgia. Well, from one Coleman to another, Hunter turns it over to Ty. Minnick could win the game if he comes home Three as five. it's six to six in the bottom of the ninth. Take five. Force at every base for the Bulldogs. They're going to try to turn it in the middle. Uh, they're four. playing the back there. Corners are playing the end. 
First pitch to Ty Coleman. Two. Left field. They're going back. They're going to watch it. And that's uh, off the wall. It'll let's win go. the game. Show five. Five, five, take five. Here comes Brett Minnick. Ready for Ty take Coleman four. Coleman comes through. And there's your Olsen magic. Let's go. Ready two. Take two. Ready three. Take three. All right, guys. I'm going to see lots of angles here. So as soon as you're done with one thing, Ready you're going to move take on, four. okay? He's so fired up. Ready two, take yeah, two. Yeah, we're going to take our time here, guys. Ready four, <clears throat> ready three, take three. All right, we're going to get into some replays here so you can go. Okay. Let's ready, go Mo ready, here. Ready, Mo, Trailed this Mo. game five to nothing Roll, after an inning and a half, and Coach Johnson, this is what ends it red off the bat. Red is next. Red. You said stay with Red. Should I stay with Mo here? Yeah, and he knows it. Yeah, yeah, he's going to stay with Mo, speed it up a little bit. Well. Red. Right at the base of the uh, fence. And go red. All red is all red. What's well, next? Blue's next. Game. Blue's next. To, Full to, speed. To watch Tracking and, blue and here. And let's go blue. And let's go blue. Blue, blue, is all really blue. Special. Uh, and What's next? Laser? Uh, all right, laser. laser's yeah, going to be next. In great shape. And let's go laser. Oh, Fielder, Riley King and Ben Anderson. Nothing Mo. they can do. You Brett can slowly fade out blue runner. there now. He scores and the let's go winner. Mo here. Roll mode is all Mo. Elation for the Aggies. Oh, Dejection the for the dogs. The Coleman brothers together celebrate. Next in outstanding live game production, it's the collegiate conferences and governing bodies division. The nominees are. Pac-12 Networks. Men's basketball. Pac-12 Men's Basketball Tournament, Oregon State versus UCLA, Patriot League, Track and Field, 2021 Patriot League Outdoor Track and Field Championships, West Coast Conference, WCC Network, Men's Basketball, BYU versus Pepperdine. And the winner is Pac-12 Networks Men's Basketball Pac-12 Men's Basketball Tournament, Oregon State versus UCLA. Here's Tiger Campbell. It's stolen by Gianni Hunt. Hunt read it. They got that early in the game. Hunt knew it. Jumped the passing lane. First turnover of the game for Tiger Campbell. Gianni Hunt inside. Maureen Dalatiche. Get on the roll. Oregon State takes the lead. Timeout Beavers 11.1 to go. And Maureen Dalatiche. Oregon State comes all the way back. We're down the entire game. Finally get the lead with 11.1 left. And their first lead of the second half. Look at this, watch it. The recovery by Hunt. He knew he was gonna drop it off to Etienne. Thompson was going a little faster than I thought. And we saw that last night in the Arizona, or yesterday in the Washington State Arizona State game. Noah Williams out of control, but he gets under control. And it finally finds Alatiche. He knocks it down. We've seen that before. The Tinkle family fired up. First lead for the Beavers since it was 10 9, with just over 13 minutes to play in the first half. All right, 11.2 to go. You don't have Cody Riley. You don't have Jaime Hawkins for Mick Cronin. Are you doing the same thing, Don Pudding? Tiger Campbell in the ball screen. Um, I have to put. Congratulations. We have reached our final award of the night. The list of finalists in the Collegiate Athletics Division is full of incredible games produced by Collegiate Athletic Departments who have committed significant resources and effort into bringing their games to their fans. And they are doing it at an elite level. In the outstanding live production category, the nominees in Collegiate Athletics are. Auburn University, War Eagle Productions. Men's Basketball, Auburn versus Mississippi State. Auburn University, War Eagle Productions. Softball, honoring Alex Wilcox. Big Ten Network, Women's Rowing. Iowa Women's Rowing Regatta. Liberty University, Football. Liberty versus Southern Mississippi. Texas A&M University, 12th Man Productions. Baseball, Texas A&M versus Texas. University of Louisville, baseball, Louisville versus Florida State. University of Notre Dame, Fighting Irish Digital Media. Men's Hockey, 
Notre Dame versus Arizona State. University of Notre Dame, Fighting Irish Digital Media. Men's Ice Hockey, Notre Dame versus Michigan State. Virginia Tech, Hokie Vision. Men's Basketball, Virginia Tech versus Duke. Wake Forest University, Men's Soccer, Wake Forest versus Boston College. And the winner is Auburn University, War Eagle Productions Softball, honoring Alex Wilcox. A momentous day in SEC softball as the conference looks to raise awareness for ovarian cancer by wearing teal warm-ups and teal accents in honor of the legacy of Alex Wilcox. All for Alex is the hashtag on Twitter and you get a lot of pride for this movement that was a joint effort by both the Mississippi State head coach Samantha Ricketts as well as Beth Torina over at LSU and Alex Wilcox an outfit on that 2018 Mississippi State softball team passed away that summer of 2018 had her number retired and in some ways fitting that we lead off uh, with a number eight and Katie Greep but we spoke with Abby Tischer uh, a travel ball teammate and an Auburn catcher you see her there and asked what her remem her memories were of Alex Wilcox. The main thing that has stood out to me that I remember most about her is just her willingness to play the game. Um, she, no matter what she was going through, no matter how much chemo she had, had done, if she had just had surgery, like a week after surgery, she's like, I want to go pitch. I want to do something. I want to do, I want to do the game. She wanted to do the game she loves. And I feel like if people had the same drive that she did, then I mean, there's nothing could stop anyone. So. Those are the words from Abby Tischer, played travel ball with Alex Wilcox, who went to high school just about 100 miles southwest here of Auburn at Brantley. Won a number of state championships. And, and that is a wrap. That does it for the 13th annual SVG College Sports Media Awards in association with NACTA. It's been an honor to be here with you tonight to celebrate the absolute best in college sports video. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners and all of tonight's finalists. You produced elite content in a year where the deck was stacked against you. Cheers to you and your colleagues on an incredible year. And we look forward to a new year where we can get back to fans in the stands and all of the best of what we love in college sports. That's going to do it for me. I'm Jenny Taft. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me. Let's send it back. To Brandon. Thank you so much, Jenny. Just an incredible job. Way to take us all the way through tonight's ceremony. We really appreciate it. We know the community really appreciates it. That will do it for us here at the 2021 SVG College Sports Media Awards. Thank you so much to our friends at NACTA who support this awards program and all of the hard work that you do day in and day out to produce this wonderful content. Again, I'm Brandon Costa from SVG. It's an honor to do this. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. We hope you had a good time. We sure did. Congratulations to tonight's big winners and to all the finalists who made this a pretty dang difficult pool of entries to judge. Let me tell you, I did not envy the work that the judges needed to do in splitting hairs between some of these fantastic pieces. All of you should be feeling pretty good about the work that you did this year. If you would like to watch more of the content you saw tonight, the complete entries from all of the winners and even all of the finalists in select divisions across the CSMAs will be available in the coming days over at collegesportsmediaawards.com. You can actually find loads of award-winning content from numerous years past of this competition. It's summertime. It's time to prep for the new year, gain some inspiration, some new ideas. The catalog of content at this site is deep. It's practically a Netflix of college sports videos, best content. So head on over to collegesportsmediaawards.com and check it all out today. Again, we appreciate Jenny so much for joining us. Jenny Taft from Fox Sports doing a fantastic job holding down the MC duties here tonight at the CSMAs. Also, thank you to many other good folks at Fox Sports who helped make this ceremony possible, including Valerie Krebs and Pennington, Lindsay Sarnacki, and others who helped produce Jenny's portions of the event. Thank you to our Christian Hernandez, who did a bang up job uh, with that opening video montage that you saw at the beginning, to Katie Champion, Karen Hogan, Ketchum, and Reva Danzig, who entered all the great graphics produced throughout the evening. And of course, Tom Buffalano, who helps oversee the entire entry and judging process, answers all your questions along the way, make sure everything's in the right spot. 
We certainly can't do it without him. And thank you for the support from our wonderful title sponsor, Ross Video. That will do it. Enjoy your summer. We look forward to seeing you again real soon. For everyone at Sports Video Group, I'm Brandon Costa saying have a wonderful evening. We'll see you soon. Take care.